So we have a recipe that calls for two thirds cups of sugar. If the recipe is to be doubled, how much sugar should be used, right? All right, so we need to double the recipe. So we need to double the amount of sugar in there. So we have to double, oops. We have to double two and three quarter cups of sugar. Now double just means multiply by two. So we need to go two times two and three quarters. Any questions on that? No. Thank you with that. So the next problem is, okay, how do you multiply a whole number times a mixed number, right? So we want to change to improper fractions is what we want to do. We need improper fractions. That'll make it easier. Improper fractions. So um, first of all, write 2 is 2 over 1. And then if we turn 2 and 3 quarters into an improper fraction, we can multiply them by multiplying the tops and multiplying the bottoms. And that's the trick. So take your time there, you guys, and see if you can turn 2 and 3 quarters into an improper fraction. So we got to go, isn't it, 4, this number times the 2 times plus 3, right? So isn't it, it's that, right? 4 times 2 plus 3. And that makes 8 plus 3, 11 quarters. Any questions on that? That's the key. Once you guys get to here, then we're good to go, right? Any questions to there? So when you're multiplying fractions, you can multiply tops and get 22 over 4 and simplify that if you want to, but it's easier to simplify before you multiply. So we can cross cancel common factors before we multiply. Two into two goes once, two into four goes twice. So now on the top we have one times 11, 11 over one times two, which is two. 11 over two. And we want to convert that into a mixed number. So are we okay getting to 11 over 2? Yeah. Right. Um, now convert that into a mixed number again. Because when you're talking about cooking, nobody says, oh, I need 11 half cups of flour, right? Or 11 half cups of sugar. That makes no sense, right? So in this case a lot of cases in real life you need you want to be converting to mixed number to add mixed numbers so 2 into 11 goes five times remainder one one right so five and a half any questions on that No. So that's five and a half cups um, of sugar, right? And again, students say, do I need improper fractions? Do I need mixed numbers? It can depend on the situation. Obviously, when you're talking about cooking, always leave it in. When you're done, you have to convert it to mixed numbers. So you can say something like five and a half cups of sugar, which is a lot more sense than 11 halves, right? But if you're converting, if you're multiplying and stuff, you're going to need those improper fractions to do the, to do the calculation, right? So 